that's kind of my background. I'm actually a rodeo announcer. Radio's been my life uh, since I, I got a little bit of a voice here. here. It's all my technique, because in reality, I have a really high voice, but I also work for Monster Jam I'm in rodeo. Rodeo, you can't uh, talk about uh, dick jokes and stuff like that. It's family friendly. And uh, here uh, in the comedy, I just kind of, this is, this is the real me. You guys know the real me. The thousands upon thousands of people that I see at rodeos, 1,500 people to 45,000 people per performance, they don't know me. You guys, the 45, the, 30, the 25 people here today, you guys know the real me, which is awesome. I have a hell of a time being a cowboy because you always want to like pick up chicks and here I am, I'm a tough guy. I ride bulls and horses and crazy stuff and girls are into guys that like to get naked with a bunch of other guys and play with their sticks. There's a difference between a gay rodeo and a straight rodeo is uh, at the straight rodeo, they say, hey, ride that sucker. And at the gay rodeo, it's the other way around. Hey, suck that rider. And I sort of say that, honestly. I say, fuck, way too much, way too much. And uh, she said, you know, you really need to stop doing that. Especially like in the bedroom, I need you to be more romantic. And that's what's gonna work for me as I've been reading Fifty Shades of Grey, the three books, I watched the movie. Please say, make love, that's what I want. I'm like, what in the make love are you talking about? We can't say that shit when we're fucking. <laughs> I'll stutter. That does not make sense at all. Huh? Girls that like hockey players, they are called puck bunnies. As I got older, and with becoming a rodeo guy, there are girls, there are actually a few, that actually like cowboys, and they are called buckle bunnies. You know what the difference between a puck bunny and a buckle bunny is? Puck bunnies actually have teeth. That's the big difference <laughs> Sexism. I'm not, I'm not sexist. I love women. I love, uh, very, I'm very politically correct. Again, that's why I love this. This is my release. And, uh, it's, I'm um, kind of like, uh, Forrest Gump. Uh, all Jenny. It just, I get up here, I get excited in my release. But <laughs> sexism, I'm, I'm seeing it all around. I work in the radio business as well. Radio and rodeo. So I have to warn them right up front now that, okay, so I work in rodeo. No, I don't abuse animals. And I work in radio. No, I don't abuse women. Uh, we have a very, very bad name. What's up? Pamela Anderson coming out of the water, right? Well, now imagine Pamela Anderson on a horse. Are you ready? <laughs> and uh, I'm seeing the sexism there, and I think sexism is really being driven right now by uh, music. It's all about fat asses. They're marketing fat asses. Jennifer Lopez, they're like, mm, look at that fat ass. She has a song, booty, booty, booty. Destiny's Child, bootalicious. Sir Mix It Lot, I like big butts. You go to a wedding, you're, th you're everyone's getting in your head, man. And then of course, the latest one, all about that bass. If you can find yourself looking at a bigger ass you wouldn't normally look at before, it's like, mm -hmm. I think it's kind of working. I think guys are getting screwed on this music thing. Because when it's all about the ass, the fat ass, which was a detriment, what about the small penis? There's no song about that. Did you notice this? Really, at the end of the day, if a man talks dirty to a woman, that's sexual harassment. And if a woman talks dirty to a man, that's $4.99 a minute, right? But animals, they, uh, they do all, everything that we do. Animals, they, they shit, they piss, they come. And, uh, and it's not as romantic as when people do it, so I'm watering in the middle of winter because you have to use a hose because everything's frozen. And I'm standing there and I'm watching, I'm watching some cows, like a cow, and all of a sudden a bull comes up and he's getting friendly with this cow. This is a true story of a lion and dying. They're getting friendly with each other, and all of a sudden, and I'm about 19 years at the time, and I'm like, oh my god, look at this. Bow, chicka, wow, wow. This is happening. All of a sudden, the bull gets on the cow. He's doing the cow doggy style. It blew my mind. I guess it's more like it's like cowy style. He's doing a cowy style, but the cow didn't want any part of it because, you know, the cow, it was a bigger bull. She's like, I can get a skinnier bull, a more athletic bull. Get off of me. I don't want to bang you right now. So all of a sudden, the cow's trying to get away a little bit, a little bit of a little uh, Bill Cosby, GM Gameshi thing. And so the cow is coming running, and I'm watching this. This is fascinating. I'm watching like animals rape. And all of a sudden, the cow is coming at me, and the bull's riding it. The cow's going four footed. The bull is keeping up. And you just imagine, just like a guy with a penguin dance. You know, with your pants around your ankles come back here, honey. So the bull's doing, and all of a sudden, right in front of me, does a 90. The cow goes that way. And animals are very similar to humans. So if the woman went one way and the guy went the other, what happens if you're instantly standing right there? <laughs> I got come down by a bull, guys. 
It really happened. You know how cold it is out there, 35 degrees? Well, I panicked. I got bull semen all over my face, so I got the hose in my hand, watering, so now I gotta get this bull semen off my face. And the water, as soon as it hit my face, it froze. So I froze bull semen to my face. I had to go in before school, before the bus, and then I had a hair dryer to my face to try and dry off the ice and the bull semen from my face. And that is a sacrifice that farmers have every day. So if you ate today, thank a farmer for taking a bukkake shot from a bull in the face. And it's also a good safety tip to not give road men in the winter. The same thing could happen to you. My name is Joe Skelly from Fletcherman. It's been a pleasure. Your company. It's been a pleasure.